So let's predict the products here for H2 plus O2. So what do we end up with when these two substances react? So right away, you can see we have hydrogen and oxygen. There's two things. And it's likely, since we just have hydrogen and oxygen, they're going to combine. So we'll have this combination or synthesis reaction. So when we try to predict this, something that's familiar would be H2O. And that would kind of make sense. In fact, if you know anything about hydrogen as a fuel, one of the advantages is that hydrogen plus oxygen just makes water. So this is one thing that could happen. And since this is exothermic, we would think it would be hot. So initially, at least, we'd get H2O as a gas. This is probably what's going to happen in this reaction. It is possible that you could predict H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, but it's a fairly unstable molecule. So it's not likely that we're going to get H2O2 from this reaction. So that's it. That's how I would predict this reaction. Do note it's not balanced. We have one oxygen here. So let's put a two. So we have two here, two here. Two times two is four. So we'll put a two here, four. Now it's balanced. That's it. This is Dr. B predicting what happens when you put H2 and O2 together. You're probably going to get H2O. Thanks for watching.